Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Fantasy Calradia. Now, when we left off, we just became a lich, and we're now going to return down to the Saranid territory and show them just how much power we have gained. And, uh, yeah, I actually did spec some of my skill points already that I gained from becoming a lich, because I think you gain three, four intelligence, maybe five. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I think three, and I lost... I think it's two charisma and two agility or something along those lines. And that's not even too bad because I'm not an agility based build. I'm not a charisma based build or anything like that. So I really don't mind about that too much. And as far as I'm aware, there might even be some bonuses to us being a lich as well. Like occasionally being able to scare the enemy units into running away because, well, let's face it. I mean, they're, fa they're facing a creature of darkness so to speak, so yeah, that's pretty cool in my opinion, and maybe I'm going to be able to survive here a little bit more as well, because we might just have the opportunity to do that. Maybe there's actually a spell that I'm missing here. Is there a spell maybe that gives me something? No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so I'm going to tell my infantry and cavalry to charge in. I actually thought they were already charging in here. I actually am a bit perplexed as to why we are not being absolutely swarmed by many, many units. Whoa, did you see that? That was a lightning bolt coming straight towards us right there. Needed to be a bit careful about that, I guess. But yeah, I'm absolutely fine with being a lich now, with the exception of maybe being a little bit weaker to fire spells. That is obviously a bit of a concern, because if we are ever going to be fighting the Rydus Majocracy, who knows whether they're going to be eliminated before that happens. Unlikely, but you never know. Sometimes factions do have a way of surprising you in some way, but they have many vassals. We're actually going to take a look at how many vassals they have after this siege is concluded, because as far as I'm aware, they have... Well, I think they start with... How many do they start with? Because I think they start with mm, six or so? Six or seven? And I think they've gained... Mm, let's see... Maybe 20. Yes, I think they literally may have gained 20, which is pretty insane in itself. All right, so there you go. Victory is ours. Let us go to the next phase. And oh, 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 wow. Okay, so this is where this is where they're deciding to do this. This is probably not the best idea for them. Let's face it. Yeah. Do you see that damage? Oh, yes. And that was that was terrible. Yes, the second one was terrible. The first one was pretty good. If I'd done two in a row, then I think we would have been in a much better position. But we have haste. We have haste currently working for us right here. So I am able to attack very, very quickly. And these guys are, well, they are just completely outmatched. They don't, they don't have anything. They don't have anything to defeat us. And there you go. That should be all. That should be all that is in the garrison here, but I'm unsure about that. As you can see, the text log has overloaded itself, and... Oh, what is this? A cleric of Groomsh? It's an orc, obviously. That's very weird. Okay, well, I, I can't actually do anything about that, because, again, I actually lost charisma. That was the main reason why I lost company size, by the way, in the previous episode. I actually thought it was because I lost fiefs, but that is not that, that's not the reason. So, yeah, let's go and get some more Shadow Knights, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, I actually don't want to get rid of anyone in my army at the moment, so I won't be able to take any of these, unfortunately, even though I may want to. And we're just going to leave the rest there as well. I'm going to defer appointment of a lord, and then we're going to head over to the nearby... Well... We're going to take a look at the Riders Majocracy, but obviously I'm going to take a look at that just before the next siege or the next field battle. Alright, so we're now on the notes and factions screen, and uh, you can see here <laughs> just how many vassals they have. I'm not going to count them all, but you can see it starts here and ends here. Yes, they have a lot. They have a, a, a huge amount, and it's it's kind of amusing because they don't have that much in the way of territory. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Now, there's also something that is a bit weird to me, and that is that I have not been declared war upon by any other faction. Bit weird, right? Because 
at the moment, you know, obviously the Swadians, they were at war with us, mainly because I attacked them and took their thieves, and we're at war against the Delthusum Empire, or we were at war against them before because we left their faction, but no one else has decided to declare war against us, which is very strange. We have always been the aggressor, and I'm not entirely sure why that's happening, because the Blazing Hand doesn't have a very good relation with us at the moment, as well as these guys as well. All of these guys do not really like us that much. The Kingdom of Swadia is ruled by King Harlaus. Its vassals are no one. Yes, technically they should be eliminated, but they have a village still. So, there's that. Let's take a look at the Delthusum Empire and see how many... They have no vassals either, as you can see. And look at that. They are at war with us, but nothing is happening because they have no vassals. No vassals whatsoever. So they technically should be eliminated as well. And the Bleeding Throat Clan, they don't have that many vassals. Look at that. They only have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Seven, actually. Yes, seven. So that is pretty small, but they have massive armies. So we do need to be a bit careful of that. The Drow have a similar thing going on. The Drow are actually at war against the Elves at the moment, and they're not having a very good time of things. If you actually take a look... Oh, never mind. Okay, apparently they took it back. But this castle, I think it was that castle, or... Hmm, it, I think it was this castle, was actually taken by the elves, if you can believe it. Which is pretty impressive, considering the elves have to come all the way down here to be able to do it. So, yeah, there's that. Anyway, we're going to continue our besieging of the Saranids. I actually am unsure how it's going to go from here on in, because if we're not going to get declared war upon by any other factions, then we're just going to be the aggressor every single time, and there doesn't seem to be any dynamicism going on, which is a bit weird. Not entirely sure why that's happening, because they, and by they I mean the other factions, are declaring war against each other, and peace, and truces, and trade agreements, and so on and so forth, reasonably often. But against me and my faction, actually not. They're not doing that at all, which is very strange indeed. So maybe there is some weird thing going on there, but uh, I suppose if you are wanting to expand your territory reasonably quickly, then that is the way to do things. I mean, I could try to... Hmm, I could try to shall we say, incite them into attacking us. Maybe that would be the way to go. But otherwise, the other strange thing that I have to mention is that I have no vassals attempting to join us. And I know that someone said a while ago in the comments that I should go to Dirim, which is our main home base. I should go to Dirim and I should go into the castle there. Well, I actually did take a brief stop over there just to, you know, check over things, make sure everything's all good, and maybe there would be some vassals there that I've missed, but there's no vassals. No vassals there whatsoever. And that's the thing. It would actually show, you know, it would say, oh, Mr. X has, you know, defected from the Bleeding Throat Clan or something along those lines and joined the... Deathly Dominion, which is what our faction is called, of course. And then we would go to our castle and we'd be like, Oh yes, I'd love to have you join us. And then we accept his pledge, and so on and so forth. But that hasn't happened. There are no vassals at my... Well... Lord's Hall, I suppose. I have no one there. So, yes, I only have my ministers, the Chamberlain, Constable, etc. And that's it don't have anyone else, so I, I don't know what's going on with that, so there seems to be a, a bit of an issue with, I think it's diplomacy, I think diplomacy is interacting in a bit of a weird way, but yeah, anyway, let's see if I can maybe, uh, yes, that's not going to work, yeah, I did increase my power throw, by the way, I increased my power throw a little bit to hopefully help us deal a little bit extra damage and maybe have a little bit more accuracy as well with the points that we gained from our lichdom, so that's pretty nice. I also did check for some necromancer robes and necromancer armor in general at the Obsidian Spire, and I could only find a headpiece, and the headpiece was worse than what I'm currently wearing, so 
not really very useful there. But it is going to take me quite some time to earn enough money to be able to get the Twilight Armor. And that kind of makes me think maybe I should just take ownership of absolutely every thief in my faction at the moment because they're not awarding their rents and tariffs and their taxes and all that sort of thing. They're not awarding those things to anyone. They're literally just going to waste right now, so it's probably a good idea if I go and just award those to me for the moment, and I can always give them to a vassal at a later point. That's probably going to be the best thing for us to do. Ooh, that was some nice direct hits right there. Very nice. Okay, so I'm just going to get my, my shield out, and... Ah, uh, yes, the, the electricity, the shock, the shock damage is very, very powerful indeed. Okay, come on now. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's what we like to see. And maybe I can maybe maybe I can actually do a little bit more damage with something else. I mean I do have my my sword here. Oh, there's a Diana unit. Need to be a bit a bit careful of those. They are very, very quick. Oh, they they're also using magic shields. That's pretty cool. I like that. And we are having our hell guards, of course, and oh, it seems like everyone's hasted except me for some reason. Am I hasted? Doesn't seem like I'm hasted. Hmm. Oh well, never mind. Alright, so yeah, look at that. We have 248. That is basically our entire army on the battlefield right now. Fantastic. Pretty awesome looking as well. 123 we were able to eliminate right there. And I'm going to continue taking these guys prisoner. Because, well, let's face it. We don't really care too much about our honor. And we don't really care too much about wanting them to join us or anything like that. And that's what makes me a little bit weirded out, because the Delthusum Empire vassals that we let go, I don't know where they've gone. I, I, as far as I'm aware, they've defected to other factions. I think it was... I think most of them have gone to the Kingdom of Vagiers, which is a bit weird in itself, but... Oh, well, never mind. All right, we're going to just... Well, I, I guess defer appointment of a lord once again here, and I'm going to plunder it. I think if the plunder is totaling 3,000 or more dinars, I'm probably going to be, you know, taking it and benefiting it, you know, benefiting from it pretty, pretty nicely, I guess. And we're going to continue getting some Hell Knights, lesser liches. Do we have any full liches, by the way? We don't. We don't have any full liches. It must take a long time for those guys to level up. And we're going to speak to Jeremus as well here. What is he going to be specking into? I guess a little bit more in wound treatment and... He actually has some faith skill. Maybe we should level that up a little bit. Make sure that he can use all of his abilities. You know, because we could give him some pretty decent ones, I suppose. I mean, it really depends on what deity he's currently worshipping. But anyway, let's level up our strength a little more. And... Oh, it seems like I haven't specked into power throw at the moment. Ah, oh, weird. I thought I'd actually done that already. Oh, it's probably because I <laughs> I had a bit of a crash before I started recording, and I thought I'd actually saved that, but apparently I hadn't. Oh well, never mind. So as you can see, I have 33 intelligence now, instead of, I think it was 30, I think I had 30, so I gained 3 intelligence, and I think I had 7 in agility and 6 in charisma, so I lost 2 of those each, which is actually not even that bad. But there you go, Darren Castle was taken, and I'm actually thinking, where am I going to go now? Because, yeah, I know, I have a bunch more Saranid fiefs to take, but it's kind of a foregone conclusion, isn't it? You know, because it is very easy for us to be able to take these. So, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do it. But maybe I should, maybe I should auto-resolve a little bit. Maybe I should just, you know, get a huge amount of skeletons and zombies and things and just go with that strategy. That might actually end up being a little bit quicker. I might need to do a little bit of testing of that off-screen because I don't really want to waste the time right now in doing that. There are 274 units here, however, so maybe they have something to show us that we haven't seen before. But again, I think that we're not really going to be challenged too much until we deal with the Riders Majocracy, the Drow, and the Dwarves, and of course the Blazing Hand. Maybe we should go and attack the Blazing Hand. Hmm, that might actually be a pretty reasonable thing to do, because if you think about it, they're most likely going to be the reason we will suffer ma 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 major casualties. Amazing. Major. Whatever. Yes. 
something like that. But anyway, you can see here that our Shadow Wizards are absolutely destroying everyone. And there's a crash. There's a crash. Okay, well, I guess, considering I haven't saved for quite some time, I'm going to end this episode off here. Yeah, I know, a little bit of a short one, but... Yes, hopefully you can understand that. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.